Patricio Pitbull wants to go down as the very best. That's a legacy he wants to live behind, and immediately McKee explodes with a kick to the body. Body kick by McKee. He told us before the first fight that a body kick would lead to the finish. There's the right hand, the counter from Patricio Pitbull. A link kick by McKee. That is what you need to see from Pitbull. He needs to start throwing that right hand counter. Make AJ feel his power. Make him actually start to hesitate in some of the actions that he'll take in trying to use those side kicks. McKee applying the pressure early. Minute gone. You can see what we were talking about right here. Take a look at both of them right in the center of the cage. This is where Patricio does his work, standing in the middle and making people come to him. AJ's the guy that said, uh-uh, all control the distance, all control where this fight's at. We're going to see who actually wins that. Patricio Pitbull trying to think, trying to get McKee to bite. Both of them known as... Highly effective counter strikers. There's a, another body kick by McKee, whips it into Pitbull's body. And one of the things that AJ has is an advantage when you're looking at a southpaw against that orthodox stance. That side, when he kicks with that left leg to the body, that is the liver, that is an open side that is hard for Pitbull to take. Pitbull coming forward. And there's Pitbull with the left hook. That was just balance that did balance. Yep. Yeah. He tried the left hook and McKee was off balance. Back to his feet. Less than three minutes left in the opening round. <laughs> left hand by McKee. You can see how long that was, Maury. You see how far out he was. Patricio at that moment didn't really think he was going to be able to touch him. That's how AJ can extend and still touch Pitbull while Pitbull cannot do the same thing. He's got to use his feet to come inside. 73 and a half inch reach for McKee. 65 and a half inch reach for Pitbull. McKee just tagged him with the left hand. Kick caught by Pitbull. Pitbull comes forward right to the body. But you do see a difference between the first fight and this fight. Take a look at Pitbull and where he's at. This is where he normally does his work. He controls the center of the cage and makes you come to him. McKee inching forward, spinning back hit just misses. Fans becoming restless. Pitbull. Back foot now just trying to find a way to gain a pass to the inside. There's a calf kick by the former champion. Kick again caught by Pitbull. There is another kick over the top by McKee. Pitbull really looking to go towards the body. Good plan. It's a nice attack. Slow AJ down. Inside low kick by Pitbull. Final minute of the first. In their first fight, McKee put Pitbull on a leash in the form of a guillotine choke less than two minutes into the opening round, and there. Pitbull coming forward with a combination in the final minute of this first. Nothing really hitting there. The leg kicks right now by Pitbull are having some effect. He needs to continue on attacking that lead leg of AJ McKee. McKee guards him with the jab from the southpaw stance. Another kick to the lead leg by Pitbull. We 
are through five minutes. Tension building as Pitbull explodes forward. In the final seconds, McKee pushes him off with a front kick. Gamesmanship on display as McKee and Pitbull make it to round number two this time. Fight. Okay, take your time, move to the right, keep working your stick, give me some up and down feints, and don't be afraid to flinch because when you're coming out, you're looking sloppy and your hands are down. All right, other than that, how do you feel? Good? Okay. AJ McKee's dad, Thank Antonio, you your plan. You got administering that instructions. Patricia, respira fundo. Pitbull Brothers, that's Patricky, the lightweight champion, talking to his brother in the corner. Mickey got into it with Patricky at the press conference earlier this week in Los Angeles. In fact, Mickey says the fact that Patricio Pitbull gave up the lightweight title and then his brother went on to win it, Mickey feels that if he wins tonight, he should be champ. champ. That's not how it works. No, it doesn't work that way. Things you want to keep an eye on coming into the second round, John, after the first five minutes. I think the thing you really want to look for is Pitbull starting to use his hands with that right-hand counter. He's got to start being able to touch AJ. He's made a couple of rushes, but he wasn't able to touch him. The kicks have worked. Now he's got to start to touch him with that right hand. Nice. What about McKee's performance in the first round? McKee, the big thing, McKee, that I'm looking at is at times he's dropping his hands and he needs to always be aware that Pitbull's dangerous. Don't get lazy, don't get, you know, in a position where you feel it's, oh. it's gonna be comfortable. Always be prepared. McKee looking for the takedown, stuffed by Patricio Pitbull, but then delivers a knee on the exit. McKee with the wrestling background, like his father started wrestling at the age of four. As a slick ground game. But unable to take the fight to the ground following his first takedown attempt. The Pitbull has stopped AJ from being able to come forward on it. Pitbull has decided, look, I'll plant my feet and I'll stand here and let you come into my range, which AJ doesn't want to do. And so it's made it to where they are basically, you know, both in that center small cage area and just looking for the opening. I think the quote, and we used to in the feature, who wants to lead the dance? It might be uh, apropos again as the inside leg kick by Pitbull, but the counter left from the champion. And Again, Pitbull's done a good job of catching McKee's kicks at times tonight. Yeah, you're catching it, but you're eating but, it first. Well, he's caught a couple of them to the body. That mitigated the damage. Uh, the, the shot lands. The catch is on the return. Mm -hmm. Kick by Pitbull, motors forward, delivering a combination. McKee counters with the left, just misses with that left hand. Remember, he, in the first fight, threw out that left to get Pitbull to bite. Through the left kick, knocking Pitbull down. There's a spinning kick, roll through by McKee, now on his back. Pitbull, although he's a black belt Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he likes to fight in the stand-up. This is his whole thing of getting going on the ground. Not really where he, he is most comfortable in the fight. He likes to be on his feet throwing bombs. Referee going to bring AJ McKee back to his feet. McKee just entering his physical prime, having turned 27 on April 7th. Patricio Pitbull now 34. The attempt by AJ. He now out of orthodox stance, lead left hook next. 
Back to Southpaw, body kick. Again, that one bouncing off the body of Patricio Pitbull. That was a solid kick. Half kick by Pitbull. There's a left hand. And Pitbull complaining about it. Flash your heads. I didn't see it. Left hand lands for McKee. Pitbull avoiding and dropping a couple of left hands on McKee. Final minute of the second. McKee lunging forward, wanting to get Pitbull to stand in front of him and go toe to toe. Nice right hand to the body by the challenger. Very clean shot by, Jab by McKee. And there's the shot by McKee, long range, well defended by Pitbull. McKee over two in the takedown attempts, and Pitbull continues to go to the body, continues to make that investment. Ten seconds left in the second. A much different fight in the rematch as we anticipated. Absolutely. Little adjustments make big differences. And Pitbull's feeling it. Here's some of the leg kicks. That's a clean inside kick by Pitbull. That lands right on the meaty part of the thigh there. Beautiful shot to the body there. I thought the kicks by Pitbull were a big difference in this round. He was throwing them cleanly. The right lands just not solid. Beautiful use of a body attack, goes to the body multiple times. And when AJ's shaking his head, that's all well and good, but that's telling the judges usually, well, that, that touched good. him. Stay back from the Oh, watch your head coming in, yeah? Sure. Good. Ready? Ready? Fight! Round number three. John McCarthy's unofficial scorecard has this fight even. Gave the opening round to McKee. Last round to the former champion, Patricio Pitbull. AJ doing a lot of talking inside. Pitbull not falling for any of it. Pitbull just sticking to his game plan. Taking away the base of AJ McKee. Yep. Very smart tactic, pays off as the rounds go late. We'll get a little amused by the spinning attack of AJ. Pitbull. Perry that jab as the key lands a low kick. Not what the uh, fans here at the Shark Tank uh, anticipated. A lot on the line right now. People are really doing a good job of attacking that lead leg. And you can see that it's starting to have a little bit, it's taking a little bit of the bounce out of AJ's step. It's a little heavy on it at times. He trying to find a rhythm, bouncing up and down. Pitbull moving back now, but that lands a right hand behind the ear. McKee rattles him momentarily. McKee looking for the takedown, and Pitbull defending it until he does get taken down, but he tagged McKee. He did tag McKee, and that hurt McKee, and that's why you see McKee go towards that takedown, keep himself safe. Get to this position right now. That's it's a smart, smart move by AJ McKee. The question is, can he keep Pitbull on his back? Most guys that have tried to keep Pitbull here have not been able to be successful with doing it. He ends up working himself up to his feet 
We'll see if AJ can do some work here. McKee, first man to submit Patricio Pitbull in their first fight in the final of the featherweight World Grand Prix. And McKee trying to administer ground and pound now with Pitbull on his back against the fence. Pitbull controlling the champion's posture. Beautiful short elbow strike by AJ McKee there. Right hand to the body, another one. Pitbull looking to get back to his feet. Pressure being put on by McKee. Notice that. He's got that ankle with the, hand, the right hand. That's what kept Pitbull on the ground. Little things make big differences. AJ using. Now he's reaching towards that lacing of it. Oh, there's a couple of solid left hands by McGee. He needs to be careful where he puts his neck. We've seen a lot of people oh. Oh, end so up oh. in trouble with Pitbull's guillotine. Both of them need to heed the words of the Wu-Tang uh, Clan. Protect your neck as Pitbull looking for the guillotine choke. It is trouble. You can see it's tight. He needs to relax right here, drive forward. The first fight ended with a guillotine choke. Patricio Pitbull was on the receiving end. He's trying to repay the favor by handing AJ McKee his first professional loss. Pitbull needs to be very careful about taking and just wasting his arms here. He's squeezing now. Under a minute left in the third. It's tight. And McKee pops his head out and survives that submission attempt by Patricio Pitbull with 40 seconds left in the third round. The question is, how much did that tax the arms of Patricio Pitbull? Fifteen seconds left, a scramble, and now it's McGee attacking the back of Pitbull. Protect your neck as we go to round four. Shot lands just about behind the ear of AJ. You see him react to it, starts taking steps back, but that's what got him in the takedown position. He lands some good shots here, and that's the real big difference. He got a good takedown, landed some good elbow strikes, some punches there, and then Pitbull jumped towards the guillotine. And the real question, Moro, is how much credit are you going to give towards that guillotine? Was he ever in a position where you thought AJ was in trouble? He escapes right here, pops his head when he jolts him to the ground, then lands a couple of other small shots. Great round for both guys. And for the first time in his career, A.J. McKee entering the championship rounds. This is round number four. Patricio Pitbull trying to force a rubber match. A.J. McKee looking to extend the longest winning streak in Bellator history. Unofficial scorecard belongs to Big John McCarthy. He has McKee ahead 29-28 after three rounds. And it's only because I didn't give credit so much to the guillotine as far as I thought it was tight, but not tight enough to submit him. I could be wrong, and the judges could definitely go the other way. Side kick by Patricio Pitbull. Done a good job of targeting the legs of AJ McKee and the body. Both of them have. But even from that distance, the straight left lands on Patricio Pitbull. Kind of a start to the fourth.
just with the way I'm, I'm seeing Patricio as far as the way he's starting this round, it's telling me that, you know what, that guillotine, he did tax his arms a little bit. He's trying to just slow it down, get some blood back in there, take his time with this. Not a bad thing to do as long as AJ is going to sit on the outside and not really present any problem for him. That's what, right hook, left hand by A.J. McKee. That's what you need to see more of by A.J. He needs to start opening up more and attacking Patricio That's with a variety of combinations. He missed with the spinning back kick. Coming up on two minutes gone here in the fourth. Pitbull going downstairs again and again, attacking the lead leg. That's exactly what AJ needs to keep doing. Anytime Patricio starts to make a move towards him, throws that kick, you need to get that counter in there. Make him think that something's always going to come back. Nice left hook to the body by Patricio Pitbull. Yeah, the right hand did not hit, but the left one did connect. Left hand connects for McKee and then elbow. AJ starting to split the guard of Pitbull. Two minutes left in the fourth. Counter left hook lands for Pitbull. Very nice kind of setup. Nice little slight movement of Pitbull's head as he just offsetted his head, making AJ miss. Oh, straight left by Pit, uh, McGee. But lots of just single shots, no combinations. No ratcheting up of the offense here in the fourth round. Straight left hand to the body by the champion AJ McGee. A minute and a half remaining in the penultimate round. And there's a right hand by Pitbull. AJ felt like he got poked in the eye. Not sure exactly what Jason Herzog saw. He might have thought it was a punch. Nice guy. Diligent work to the body by Patricio Pitbull. And there's no doubt AJ was right. He got poked to the eye. On the ISO, we can see that that left hand came out. And it poked him right in the eye. Final minute in the fourth. That right hand splits AJ McKee's guard. But look who's marching who down. We talked about this. It was the difference that nice counter. Man, that's a head kick block, partially blocked by McKee. 30 seconds left here in the fourth. And it's Pitbull initiating the attack, but McKee comes back with a combination. So this main event, this championship fight could very well hang in the balance as we head into the fifth and final round. A takedown attempt, the shot, the sprawl by Patricio Pitbull. And this is how the fourth round will end. Don't let him steal this round, okay? You're in the last round. You're doing good. So far, I have your head on all rounds. Stop working so hard. He's tired, bro. He's tired just like you are. But you're younger, okay? You're younger than he is. Patricio, he's very equilibrated. He's dead and he just wants to give a shot explosive. You can continue to maintain the rhythm of the conversation. Beautiful kick right to the body and a nice left hand finishing it off for A.J. McKee. And the real difference in this fourth round when you're looking at things, that was a beautiful left hook up top by Pitbull, but he, he slowed his yeah. offense down. He didn't go after A.J. in the same manner, and he let A.J. just throw a lot of pot shots. That some landed, some didn't, but he was definitely the more active fighter. Nothing landed that was a big, heavy, heavy shot by either fighter. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. 
Fifth and final round. AJ McKee just turned 27. Patricio Pitbull, 34. And it comes down to this. John, how do you have it after four rounds on your unofficial card? Well, right now I have it on minus three to one, but it could definitely be 2-2 two -two in this final round. In my opinion, both guys need to go after it and like they have to win it. McKee shoots in for the takedown. Sprawled by Pitbull. job by A.J. McKee, taking him off his feet, he needs to lace those legs, make sure that he can't get him back underneath him, that's what he's trying to do right now, Pitbull doing a great job getting back to that position, using the fence as a balance point. Is looking for the arm lace behind. Can't get the right arm of Patricio. Oh, elbow by McKee to the face. A very heavy elbow. Take down by AJ McKee. And look after four rounds when you're tired, your arms are heavy. This is not where you want to be if you're Patricio. There you go. There you go. Keep it in the cage. Cross your hips forward. And you're okay. Pitbull so strong, just able to physically stand himself up out of there. Lashing elbow by oh, McKee. Fourth. Lead left by McKee. Three minutes left in the fifth. Point of the final round. Both guys slowing down a lot. They're too tired right now. Their arms are heavy. Just that little bit of grappling for AJ. Squeezing hard and everything. Arms got a little bit heavier. He's trying to slow things down. Pitbull, same thing. Both need to start opening up. You got half of a round left. And this fight could definitely be determined by this round. Two minutes remaining. McKee goes for the shot, defended again, and Pitbull with the lead right. But not a lot of sustained offense, not a lot of combinations being put together in a minute 45 remaining. Putting together four punch combination, another body kick that's been absent for a while, John. Yes. Overhand right by Pitbull. I'm just not seeing a whole lot of out. Oh, it's a nice left uppercut by Pitbull. And then one two by Pitbull. A final minute of the fight. AJ McKee forced to enter the championship rounds for the first time. Puts together the one, two upstairs, another combination by the champion. Pitbull's tired. You can see the way he's throwing out his right hand. His arms are heavy. But he's going, he's trying. AJ throws a good shot. Pitbull getting after him to see if he gets a takedown here. And McKee secures the takedown. Will that be enough? for the longest winning streak in Bellator MMA history to continue. Will AJ McKee improve to 19-0, or does Patricio Pitbull improve to 6-0 in rematches and become a three-time featherweight champion?
It's up to the judges. It is up to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we're going now to your three judges at cage side. Your first judge, Michael Bell, scores the fight 49 to 46, while judges Ron McCarthy and Derek Cleary both see it the same, 48 to 47. All three have it for the winner by unanimous decision. He is the new Patricio Pitbull is now 6-0 in rematches. He has just become a three-time Bellator MMA featherweight champion. Much to the utter disbelief of A.J. McKee, 